my, my family has money and they can support me, and, but I model because I love to model. And it's something that I enjoy doing, so I don't think it's fair that they made me sound greedy about it and all, because I model because I love to model. And that's really all there is to it. That was Ivanka when her daddy got her a job as a model, and she modeled with one of these agencies that then became embroiled in all of these claims of sexual harassment and all of these things as Donald Trump was um, having her hang out with Jeffrey Epstein and him. You can see the photos right there. I'll get to that in a moment. I want to tie this all together with the contrast between that and the DNC and how the fact that we don't see specifically Ivanka or Melania, but let's focus on Ivanka for this video at all with Donald Trump, like a total rejection of him. It speaks volumes, but it also speaks to one of the reasons why we see these MAGA Republicans melting down over the joy that we're seeing at the DNC, that we saw at the DNC, where they talked about families and family values. And you saw how much Governor Walls loves his kids and his wife and how his son Gus was even crying and said, that's my daddy, that's my daddy. And you have the blended family of the Emhoffs and Vice President Kamala Harris and how much they love each other and a lot of the video montages out there. All of that joy has been crushing to these MAGA Republicans. I mean, one of their top influencers, Tommy Lahren, made the following post. What would it take to get Ivanka Trump on the trail for her dad? Where is... Ivanka. And as the Patriot takes account says, well, maybe giving her mom a proper burial would be a start. That's right. Ivanka's mother, Ivana, is buried in the back lot of Bedminster, Donald Trump's country club, where at one point, at least, they allowed the shrubs to grow over it, an unmarked grave. How ghoulish can you be? We've also talked about the deposition testimony that Ivana gave in the early 90s, and that was subsequently written about in a book where she claimed Donald Trump raped her and sexually assaulted her. Then she said after some legal deal was entered with Donald Trump's lawyers that she didn't mean rape in a literal sense, but we've covered that at length here. But just take a look at some of these other responses, though, to Tommy Lahren when she goes, objectively, Walls is the worst speaker of the night, corny and weird. That's one of the things that um, Tommy Lahren was saying as well. But then here where she goes, what would it take to get Ivanka Trump on the trail for her dad? Um, uh, one of these uh, accounts says, well, Donald could promise to stop sexualizing her. That could be a start. And you start to reflect on how these MAGAs behave in their own families. And it's like, that's why they're attacking our families. That's why they use the label family values when they have none of them to come after us. It's so clear. So, for example, here is how Donald Trump has been treating his daughter over the years. Here, play this clip. She does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> okay. Ivanka, what's the favorite thing you have in common with your father? Either real estate or golf. Donald, with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate that to If I weren't happily married and, you know, her father. My daughter, is. Ivanka. Yeah. She's six feet tall. She's got the best body. By the way, your daughter. She's beautiful. A, can I say this? A piece of ass. Yeah. She looks more voluptuous than yeah. ever. She's actually always been very voluptuous. It's she's tall. She's almost six You're going up the escalator? I'm going to be dating her in 10 years. Can you go? One of the uh, responses to what would it take to get Ivanka Trump on the trail for her dad? Someone goes, a new dad. Someone goes, Kushner got his Saudi money. He don't need Trumpito anymore with smiley, cry face, laugh emojis. And look, Ivanka got her trademarks. Her and Jared Kushner made $650 million. Six. $150 million it was reported that they made getting positions that they weren't elected for. That's why I show you the video at the beginning of the nepotism. You know, look, Donald Trump, you want to have your daughter hang out with Epstein and hang out with modeling agencies where they engage. It's horrific. It's horrific. It sounds disgusting to me. 
You want to do that? With that, that how is, is, do do what you want to do. I mean, if it's unlawful, get arrested for it. Let's be clear about that. As, you know, as Donald Trump's flying around in Epstein's jet right now. But now you're doing the nepotism where she's getting trademark advantages from China. They're making six hundred and fifty million dollars off of we the people. I mean, how much more pathetic can you get like that? Oh, by the way, then remember that Ivanka was out there, like Donald Trump would have her go to like international meetings and, and you know, and, and like none of the international leaders wanted to talk to her or play this clip. Yes, but it's not social justice. It's all, yeah. As soon as you touch on that economic aspect of it, though, yeah. a lot of people start listening who yeah. wouldn't otherwise listening. listen. And the same with the defense side of it. Yeah. Um, in terms of the whole sort of business. It's been very male-dominated. So. Or when Donald Trump would just behave super creepy and, like, want to hold her hand in, like, a very weird way. Here, play the clip. <laughs> Compare that, what you just saw, to the moment from two nights ago with Governor Walls and his son Gus and his daughter Hope. Play the clip. Hope, Gus, and Gwen, you are my entire world, and I love you. I'm letting you in. Right. Doesn't it stand in just such stark contrast there when you put those videos um, side by side? Or, 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 or how about this? Yeah, this was a video that I love that uh, Cole Emhoff, Doug Emhoff's son, produced with his mom, Kirsten, who is such a fan of Vice President Kamala Harris. And this family's been able to come together with Vice President Kamala Harris and Doug Emhoff's first wife. And again, there, this is legitimate joy. Here, play this clip. But it helped that my parents stayed friends and we all kept hanging together. We grew closer than ever. And then he met Kamala, the blind date that would dramatically change all of our lives forever. It was my senior year of high school. Elle and I would laugh watching them fall in love, acting like teenagers. In 2014, Kamala became Mamala. She took over Sunday night dinners and taught Doug how to actually cook. Our blended family wasn't used to politics or the spotlight, but when Kamala became senator, we were all excited to step up, especially my dad. Then Kamala became vice president. It felt like Doug was a bit out of place on Capitol Hill. I thought, what is my goofy dad doing here? But he embraced it. He left his practice after being a lawyer for 30 years. That was tough. I was so proud to watch him do it, to stand by her side, an example of true partnership. I just got married myself, and he's inspired me as a new husband. Anyone who really gets close to him knows he's kind, loving, and fiercely protective. I mean, just look at this face. This is my dad, the first second gentleman in the history of this nation. He's found his voice around the issues that matter to him. You have no choice but to speak up and speak out. There is an epidemic of hate, including a crisis of anti-Semitism in our country and around the world. What they are doing on reproductive freedom and freedom in general is just outrageous. And next... He's going to make history again as the first, first gentleman. I can't wait for everyone to get to know why we all love him. He's the glue that keeps this family together. We might not look like other families in the White House, but we are ready to represent all families in America. Or how about this video here where uh, Governor Walls 
um, uh, reunited with some of the football players who he coached to a state championship after they had lost every game. He took over as the coach and then launched them into the state championship. Here, play this clip. Hey! So again, it's just moments like this that I think make us reflect on what's really going on here. Let, let me show you this clip as well, too, because Ivanka, of course, shouldn't get a pass here at all. We got insiders at the Midas Touch Network, Michael Cohen, who used to hang out around them. What he said, Ivanka, Don Jr., Eric, and Donald used to mock the way that Lara Trump looked and that they would call her a horse face over and over again, which is the same thing that Donald Trump calls Stormy Daniels, the porn star who he cheated on Melania with, his third wife with, um, at right when Melania gave birth to Barron. Here, play this clip. That's a common phrase by Trump, believe it or not. They used to refer to Lara Trump before she married Eric, as horse face. It's really unbelievable because not only did Donald used to do that, but so did Don Jr. And so did Ivanka when they were referring to her. Uh, I mean, I've talked about this quite a bit. It's, it's cruel. Even if it's true, it's cruel. And it just, as you said, it goes to his character, but that doesn't, that doesn't seem to stop. That doesn't seem to stop his supporters at all. They actually find it funny. So Cohen, the Trump family, Donald Trump, Don Jr. were calling Eric's wife or at the time girlfriend uh, a horse face, the same name that Donald Trump uses to refer to Stormy Daniels? Yes. So ultimately, you put all of this together. And the question is, where is Ivanka? Where is she? And the answer should be an obvious one and very revealing about the condition of Donald Trump's campaign. She views Donald Trump as a loser right now, and she doesn't want to associate with him. You had Kushner. He already got his $2 billion from Saudi Arabia, so she feels comfortable and set there with the new sugar daddy. She obviously is indicating that she feels that Donald Trump is 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 not going to win. I mean, that seems to be her actions. So she wants to distance herself from him. When she thought he was going to win, she posted that cryptic photo of herself on Instagram as though it's like, she's back. And then she's quickly kind of disappeared since, since then. And that's all intentional. Think about it. You don't see Melania ever, right? Think about how desperate Donald Trump is. He goes around state to state right now, now speaking in front of teeny tiny crowds. And then he does this thing where he waves to nobody and then pretends there's an audience or later has his production team do videos where then the audience waves to him that actually wasn't waving him. Here's a montage that our editor-in-chief Ron Filipkowski made. Play this clip. Wild, wild stuff right there. So look, while Vice President Kamala Harris is being supported by enthusiastic crowds and A-list celebrities, Donald Trump doing AI images 
of fake Taylor Swift fans supporting him who don't support him. It's pathetic. And obviously Ivanka thinks it's pathetic. And watching these Trump MAGA influencers try to cope with this is certainly a sight to uh, behold right there. And, you know, also if you just look at how these Trump influencers reacted to that moment with Governor Walls and his son Gus, it tells you everything they need to know. They're like picking on the kid and mocking him from crying and being happy about, uh, about their father. Like this big MAGA influencer, Mike Crispy goes, Tim Wall's stupid crying son isn't the flex the left think it is, thinks it is. You raised your kid to be a puffy beta male. Congrats. Does Baron Trump cry? Nope. Does he love his father? Of course. That's the types of values I want leading this country. Or Bill Mitchell. What the hell is wrong with this Walls kid? I can understand being proud of your dad, but he's having a nervous breakdown. Also couldn't help but notice he wasn't aborted. Or Sean Collins. Tim Walls is 60. His son is 17. That that means he had him at the age 43. That's spoiled semen. So yeah, do you drink 47-year-old dairy milk? Eric Spracklin, can someone get Tim Wall's son a tampon? Eric Spracklin, who goes, his son is crying like a bitch. Just now I saw uh, Sean Crowder stream, I'm dying of laughter. Folks, there's some really things, this is wrong with the Republican Party. This is who they are. And Ivanka thinks that she can hide from this. Well, I think it's all on display. You judge for yourself. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million together. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.